So what's up? So yeah, I'm one of those people that feel that um, Gayle King and Oprah Winfrey are used as political uh, with a racist agenda, media attacks to attack uh, R. Kelly and Michael Jackson. I find Gayle King to be very disturbing, unprofessional. I find Oprah Winfrey to be fake and fraudulent. Um, it's almost like they tag team, like they're going to do like a black female Thelma and Louise, and let's just try to get these guys by any means. Um, Gail King has definitely showed her biased hand and the way she did her interview with R. Kelly. Um, it was a bit much on her part, her whole to go run into different media outlets and the way she's been talking does not lacks professionalism. And as for Oprah, you know, she's still tummy hurt that Michael Jackson, when he married Lisa Marie Presley, didn't come there and do the interview. So she's taken upon herself to, you know, at all costs, try to wreck and try to, like, do anything. They both of them are on pictures sucking up and slapping up to, to uh, Harvey Weinstein. And I find it very ironic, you know. And that's the double-edged sword that's at work. Um so, I mean, you can't trust neither one of them. You can't trust Gayle King and you can't trust Oprah Winfrey. You know, it's illegally allowed to have black on black slander and, and, and crime in the media. I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> neither one of these situations is about justice. You know, again, the people at R. Kelly, you know, you can think what you want to think, believe what you want to believe, but if it's about justice, they done something many moons ago. This is about payback for whatever reasons. And I think somebody somebody went down and it's like that's now it's the pile on. But this ain't even about a recent situation. You know, it's just a pile on. And the Michael Jackson thing is even more embarrassing because he's been gone for almost ten years. So what are you getting off by having uh, a racist white agenda to attack? This is all it is. And I don't want to hear nobody talking about Me Too. The Me Too is fraudulent. It's anti-black. And nobody didn't put Harvey Weinstein. Ain't nobody come at Charlie Sheen. Ain't nobody stop Rob Lowe. Roman Polanski. You know, I keep going on and on. It sounds like I'm singing a song. Because it's like, basically, they use these two pawns to lynch black men. That's what's up. I'm not sitting up here saying that R. Kelly isn't suspect and what he done done and then he and then with judgments but at the same time you can't be coming up here talking about oh we got some vhs tape and we got some film i'm like uh, what year are we in this ain't 1999 it's 2019 you know and and you go all of a sudden now it's fashionable and how are you going to use a documentary as a means to do something that you should have done if you had said situations that's criminal in itself you know, so none of that adds up. Michael Jackson thing, they tried everything, FBI, CIA, all it. You know, but what they've done, they've used two black women as a means to break, to break them down. That's what they've done. That's why Gail King and Oprah Winfrey they sold out their soul to get some shine. That's what they've done. This is not about any justice. This is just going to make them look like, you know, Cause I don't see them sitting on TV with Harvey Weinstein or Woody Allen or something. You know, they're not sitting up there like, oh, okay, you know. But it's fashionable to lynch black. And I'm saying it like this. I'm not condoning. I'm going to say it like this. I don't condone on abuses. And Michael Jackson was suspect to be having association, R. Kelly's association. However... If you're really about justice, you don't have to, like, throw it all in your faces and throw it all on the news. You make it count with what you do. You know, you got to do what you got. You don't sit around like, oh, this is fashionable. Too many people are talking and there's too much money and hands being exchanged. Can't trust it. So that's my take about uh, Gail King and Oprah Winfrey are shady, suspect, and they sold out. All right, feel free to leave them comments and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.